I would love to have you subscribe if you guys like this video. Leave a thumbs up and a comment. Um, today's video is going to be a lamp makeover. This lamp I made many years ago when I had a very different decorating style. I, my style used to be very country primitive and um, I made this lamp out of an old pickle jar. So I'm pretty sure you can still buy these attachments at craft stores to make lamps out of jars. So I'm going to take this and I'm, I had it ready for the trash pile, but I wanted a small lamp for my office and I was, I had this literally sitting by the door ready to take out to the dumpster and I thought, you know, I can probably make something new out of that, which is something I love to do, you know, make, make something old into something new and reuse and recycle things. So um, I have covered my table with this shower curtain from Dollar Tree and then um, I'm going to use this mason jar that I already had on hand and then the only thing brand new I bought was a lamp shade and this was on clearance at Lowe's for let's see four dollars and 48 cents so I thought this would be really cute I think it's a good size for the mason jar. So let's get into taking this apart. Hopefully I can get it apart. I don't even remember how I put it together. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Hopefully I don't need any tools for this. So this attachment is made to go on to a mason jar and since I had used a big pickle jar we just put a hole in the lid and attached it that way. So let me put this stuff back on. I'm going to take this finial off the top because I think I'm going to go ahead and paint this white also and distress it. And then I will just set that to the side for now. I have these foam, a set of foam brushes. I think I picked these up from Dollar Tree a long time ago. I just grabbed these out of my craft stash. So I'm not positive that that's where they came from. So I'm gonna get one of those out. And then I have the Apple Barrel White Matte Acrylic Paint. This is what I'm gonna to use to paint the mason jar with. Now this is the first time I've ever tried painting a mason jar, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work out. And I guess I've never used this paint. No, nope. it still has the cap on it. Just have this um, paper plate here to put my paint on. So squirt some out on there, and I'm just gonna get busy painting this jar.
then I'll be back with you guys. While I was on camera before, I forgot to paint the finials, so I did that while the mason jar was drying. And one tip I wanted to show you guys, because I knew I was going to be painting, doing a second coat on this jar, I went ahead and took my paintbrush and I stuck it in this plastic bag and zipped it shut. That way I didn't have to rinse this brush and get it saturated with water that I didn't want to have on there. So it's ready to go and paint again and do a second coat. So this is what the jar looks like. And I don't think you can tell on camera, but you can still see streaks in the jar and see the light coming through it. And I don't want that. So I'm going to do a second coat on this and let it dry again. And then we should be good to go to do some de-stressing on it. that dry and then I should be ready to put my lamp together. I just brought my jar in from outside. I had it sitting out in the sun so it would dry a little bit quicker for me and this is what it looks like and right now I just have a wet wipe and I'm going to gently take some of this paint off of the raised word areas of the jar just to kind of distress it a little bit. And I'm trying to be really careful because, like I said before, this paint was not meant for glass. So it, it does want to come off a little bit. But, you know, I was trying not to spend a lot of money on the project and using things that I already had in my house. And I think once I get it all done and just set it on my desk, it's going to be fine because it's not something that, that people are going to be touching all the time. So I'm not really worried about the paint coming off once I get it done. parts of the words and I think I'm going to distress it just a little bit more dressing that I'm going to do to this jar and now I'm going to try to put this lamp back together. So here's the piece that I took off of the old lamp and all you have to do with these is just screw it on the top of the jar. And now, well let's see, let's go ahead and put the light bulb in.
need to <coughs> take the harp off of here because this lampshade just fits on the light bulb. I can get this off. Without breaking, maybe I should take the light bulb back off. This thing is stuck. There we go. Now I got it. Put the light bulb in. And put the lampshade on. And there we go. I think it turned out pretty cute. So that's what it looks like painted and then distressed. And then here's the lampshade. So for just about $5 for the cost of the lampshade, everything else I already had on hand, I have a brand new lamp to set on my office desk and I think it turned out really cute. And here I plugged it in. I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see what it looks like turned on. And there we go. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and like and comment and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.